X Games gold medalist Tom Wallish is constantly pushing the sport of free skiing in new ways. After years of success on the competition circuit, Wallish has set his sights on a new challenge. With the help of the Guinness Book of World Records and Snowpark Technologies, Wallish hopes to set the record for the longest rail slide on skis at 440 feet. I'm excited to see all this metal in person. It's, I think it's gonna really put it into perspective. Slide each of these one by one. Over 10,000 pounds of steel was trucked in from Eastern Canada and meticulously welded together on hill to complete the rail. The first time I saw it, I thought, no way. I made a, I made a horrible mistake. There we go, first hit. Pressure's on. Woo! One try, you can get 40 feet, and then one try, you get 350 feet, and you don't know why, you don't know what you did. There was moments where I thought I was gonna scream. I think I did scream. Oh! Oh! Go! Go! No! Five hours, maybe in. Over 100 tries today. So much of it is just mental. It's a mental battle against yourself, against the rail. After three days of attempts, Weather forces the crew into a two-day hold. With high temps and lack of maintenance, Wallace returns to find the rail on its side. Devastated, the determined crew begins the painstaking process of reconstructing the rail, piece by piece. To the surprise of all, the rail is rebuilt in time for one final day of attempts. from the end of the rail. I was centered and kind of just went numb. Look up and celebrate with everybody was just such an awesome feeling. Oh my God. That overwhelming satisfaction of beating through that frustration and oh, it was so rewarding and a childhood dream had come true. I've been a part of the rail skiing kind of movement for so many years that it's cool to you know, to have some sort of legacy in it, to have a, a record like that that means something and hopefully it'll hold on for a few years to come, you never know. Yeah.